Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. So to, we have a week, I think, to, to the season of uh, Barakat. Sheikh. Season of Khairat, season of Barakat, season of Anwar. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Hatta yarda Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Abadan abada. Alhamdulillah. Allah says in His holy book, Wastaith Gulla, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, Kutiba alaykum as siyam, Kutiba alaykum, Kama kutiba ala ladhina min kablikum, La alakum tattakun. Shaykh. And he said also, Shahru Ramadan, Aladi Unzila fihi al Quran, Huda lin nasi wa binatim min al Huda wal Furqan. And so Imam Ghazali, he has in his Ihya Ulum al Din a, a chapter for Siyam in, uh, in Rub al Ibadat. And he does tafsil about uh, uh, what, what should we do before, what should we do in the beginning, how we know when it's the ahkam, he touches on them so that, you know, uh, the, the fiqh of the month. But then he goes a deeper level also into the realities of Siyam. And I think last year we, we have the series, it should be on YouTube, Asrar al The Secrets of Fasting, by Imam Ghazali. And he says, he starts by saying, That Siyam is a quarter of faith because Allah says, uh, because Prophet said, that fasting is half patience, and patience is half of Iman, so Siyam is a quarter of Iman. And he said Siyam is, is unique uh, in terms of Ibadat. And it is also, he, he mentions, he quotes that it is, it is the entrance through which you can really worship Allah. Because it is the only Ibadah where you, no one sees what you're doing. It is the only Ibadah where you're not actually doing you're actually leaving things. You know, all the ibadats, people see you. They see you pray. They see you do hajj. They see you, you give your zakat, your alms. They see you. But with, with the month of Ramadan, with Siyam, it is about leaving. It is about leaving that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like. Leaving food, leaving uh, drinking. Uh, leaving comfort because it's about leaving bad manners anything so I'm just summarizing inshallah maybe we'll, we'll touch upon it again but basically uh, Imam Ghazali he says there are three types of fasting it's Salm like, Al-Awam uh, like me the common they're not uh, they're just basically trying to do the bare minimum uh, so he said that is the siyam from eating and drinking and they're happy they're content I, I didn't eat I didn't drink خلاص, now my, I punched out at the end of it and I deserve now some payment repayment in akhirah and that's it, uh, I'm done. I can go all night and uh, as they do in some Arab countries, they all night the malls are, are open and the restaurants are open and they stay up all night eating and drinking, they go to sleep. Uh, so it, it, it's counterproductive to actually the maqsad of Siyam. Because one of the, mini, one, one of the wisdoms of Siyam, according to Imam Ghazali also, 
is that uh, uh, jihad. Because that's why Prophet said about the about shaitan, in the shaitan yajri minkum dam. That shaitan moves through you like like your blood. In like in your in your blood, like majradam in in the bloodstreams, shaitan is is moving within you. فضيقوا عليه المسالك أو كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم means tighten make his ways constrained through hunger you see so the 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 way to um, the way to defeat shaitan is using these tools and and if you actually fight against your shaitan you constrain in his ways you you go against him then it is nusra lillah he said then you are actually because he's adu allah shaitan adu for allah so he's an enemy so when you are struggling against the enemy of allah you are supporting allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah wants you to so that is that is one one meaning of of jihad and he and he said so the the first level of siyam is som al awam from eating and drinking the second level uh, of som al khawas is they fast from anything displeasing to allah not just food and drink anything that the khawas yani those who have attained a level of awareness and a level of certainty of faith with their lord they start to worship allah uh, according to how he wants to be worshipped not according to the way they like to be worshipped they they like to worship allah but according to how he likes so they stay away from any any and everything that is displeasing from allah even the shubuhat even the gray areas they stay away from uh backbiting uh, uh, speaking even uh, w things that are unnecessary in ramadan they stay away from allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad allah allah So fasting is qahrun li adullah, Imam Ghazali says. You are actually fighting and, and defeating and and uh, bothering Adullah, Shaitan. And Fa'inna wasila ta shaitani la'anahullah shahwat. So the alaykum sarasi, ana wa sana. Happy to see you, mashallah. Wa alaikadafi. So his way, his way to catch people is through uh, shahwat, through desire. And the way your desire increases is by feeding it. That's why Imam Busayri, he said, huh? That, that, uh, your nafs is like a baby. In taftimhu, when nafsu katifli in tahmilu, if you neglect, neglect it and ignore it and not pay attention to it, shabba ala, like a baby. If you don't, uh, if you don't, uh, at some point, the mother, if she doesn't, you know, uh, stop nursing him, it's called fatamatu. Uh, if she doesn't, uh, what do you, I don't know what you call it in English, when the mother stops nursing the child, if there's a word. But when the, the child wants to nurse, but they gradually, they, they, they stop and they start to give him poop. But if you don't, if you let the child, he is comparing like that, if you, don't, if you don't do it, the child is gonna want to nurse until he's 10, it's no problem. And he said, your ego, is exactly like that. If you don't stop it, if you don't do something about it, 
شبع على حب رضا هي ويل جرو اولد لافينج تو نيرس وان تفطمه ينفطمي اند اف يو ستوب ات ات ويل ستوب اند ذيس از وات اولسو ذا امام الغزالي از سينج از سينج ذات اف يو يو هاف تو هولد يور سيلف باك فروم يور ديزايرز Uh, struggle against yourself in order to uh, constrain the means and ways of shaitan. And that's why Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, he advised young people to either marry or to fast. Okay? So, uh, so no, why? Because fasting gives you back your faculties, your abilities to, your abilities to say no. When you actually force your nafs not to eat, not to drink, And you, you have it gives you it gives you willpower, it gives you ability. You have that to say no. If you know, if I if I can stop all day from eating and where I'm not going to do anything haram, and so forth. So it gives you the ability to fight, to struggle. It's one of the ways that Prophet Sallallahu advised his ummah to uh, struggle against their lower nafs and to struggle against shaitan. And Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said to Sayyida Aisha radiyallahu anha wa arda, Dawimi qar'a bab al-jannah. He said, continuously knock on the door, the gate of heaven. She asked him, with what? He said, through hunger. Bil-juh. Bil-juh. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi. And this is this is the jihad. This is when Allah says, "وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا." That those who struggle in our way, we will guide them to our good ways, to the ways to us, to our nearness, to our pleasure. سُبُلَنَا. صلى الله على سيدنا محمد. So. In this month, don't you know? We said this a couple of weeks ago, and I'm telling this to myself. We have now one week. Start from now, Tarweed. Don't wait until the first day of Ramadan and then start then, because nafs it has to be gradual. And it takes, and we all know this. When we start fasting, the first few three, four, five days are very difficult, and uh, we're still. We're still uh, on the old program, you know, <laughs> what, what we're watching, what we're doing, what we're liking, we're still, we're still, yeah, and uh, wasting maybe time that we shouldn't be wasting and so forth. So if we start beforehand, getting ourselves used maybe uh, to, to that and st start, from, start staying away from, uh, uh, from anything that displeasing from Allah, Being more aware about about ourselves, about uh, our nafs's whims, and start the struggle. So we said the first type of fasting is is the fasting of awam. Imam Ghazali says, and that is the fasting of eating and drinking. The second type of fast is khawas. And that is to fast from anything displeasing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yani they, they try their absolute best to refrain from engaging in any activity that is displeasing. Uh, they're keeping their eyes, they're keeping their ears clean, they're keeping their heart clean, they're not speaking uh, in, uh, un even uselessly, not haram, but even not speaking without any benefit for anyone. Uh, and uh, there's, uh, I think Imam Ghazali also says this. He says about speaking, about afat al -isan. He said uh, that one of the minimum thing is, even if you're speaking halal, but of no benefit to anybody, you are making the angels busy for no reason. Because <laughs> they have to write everything. And to that much, sometimes the awliya and people are aware of what's happening to them and in, in how they're being. They have full awareness of their time, 
of their of their uh, faculties of their steps where they're stepping of what they're allowing themselves to hear what they're allowing themselves to see anything that disturbs that connection with their lord anything that makes that connection uh, clouds their clouds their mind and heart they stay away from and this is really how we should be trying to live and the sheikhs teach us but our nafs allahu akbar uh, for our nafs but ramadan is an opportunity because at least shayateen they're tied up there's no no more ability for shaitan to come and was was so if any if you're doing anything wrong at that time it's you yourself and and you me myself and i there's you can't blame it on the shaitan <laughs> say oh he made whispers to me no this is your nafs <laughs> your nafs and your hawa your shahwa your desire that's what's making you do so ramadan is a beautiful opportunity for all of us it gives you that boost get boosted but not that boost <laughs> boosted uh, not boosted uh, but really it gives you that boost to to do uh, to be able to worship allah that's why it's madkhal lil ibadat it is an entrance for ibadat and the last of the three types of fasting is sawm khawas al khawas so Levels never end. There's Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu he's the Imam. His ibadah is not like those who are, Allah knows his ibadah, maybe if you, if you add all creation, all the ubad from beginning of time until end of time, they, they maybe are unable to worship together uh, like Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam worship. And the Anbiya in ranks after him, and then Awliyaullah, and how they worship, and it never ends. So how do the special, specially distinguished one among specially distinguished ones, how do they fast? They fast Ammasiwallah. Their fasting is from anything other than Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if their heart is for one second, uh, disconnected or perturbed or or thinking about something else they consider themselves they broke their fast and these are Ahlullah. they're always in full presence and uh, they're, they're they're in this world they're in it but not in it uh, there's a principle uh, in Naqshbandi is uh, one of the 11 principles is to be um, to be in khalwa amongst the people khalwa amongst the people so you are talking to people they are they are maybe even buying and selling or doing whatever but their heart is always is always in in uh, full attendance with their lord and these are high ranking uh, awliya allah May Allah grant us to be at their steps, at their doorways. We can't uh, fathom that we can be from amongst them. But uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kareem. Ghafoorun rahim. So this is, uh, this is very important to uh, understand uh, that this month is is a month of an opportunity to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, an opportunity to reach Allah's pleasure. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has every day, every day, He releases from, يعني, guarantees from hellfire, He releases every day a million servants and on the last day he releases as much as he released the entire month and these are called Utaqa or Rahman Allah is generous he wants to save humanity but we have to have sincere intentions from now say Ya Rabbi I am Abd I am weak 
I am unable, I'm, I'm ajiz, and I want to fast this whole month according to your liking, according to what is acceptable to you. And I'm asking you to grant me success and ability to do that. And I'm intending with my whole heart to do that, inshallah. This is, uh, this is uh, not the time, unfortunately, uh, CD now, uh, Ramata, uh, we're talking about how Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, said, keep knocking on the door of heaven through making yourself hungry. Ramadan comes and we eat double what we eat <laughs> outside of Ramadan. <laughs> yani, we, we, eat, we eat sahur and then we eat maghrib iftari. But because we missed lunch, we triple the portions for maghrib. And we may start eating from Maghrib, go pray Taraweeh, and then come back, eat for another hour or two, then wake up for Suhoor. And this is unfortunately how in the Muslim world is. In the month of Ramadan, the, the feasts, Mawaid Ramadan, are, mashallah, food that you never eat the whole year. You will eat it in Ramadan. <laughs> That's the truth. Yani, uh, people, people indulge. Alaykum <laughs> salam. So Allah, may Allah forgive us, but it is, it is not like that. So I'm telling this to myself. I'm not uh, advising uh, yani, as if I, I, I am doing this, no. May Allah forgive us. But we need to take this Ramadan seriously. Uh, and when we eat, eat little so that you can make Qiyam layl so that you can do a recitation of Quran and intend. Last week we were at Adam Mawlid and the Imam, I think, uh, Zakaria was saying, uh, recite Quran once, twice, three, uh, three turns. And somebody says, once is okay. It is okay. If you can only recite once or if you're slow, it's But intend. Intend, intend, make intention. Say, Ya Rabbi, I want to study your holy book like you would like me to know it. I would like to understand its meaning like you would like me to know it. My intention, Ya Rabbi, is to know it so I can I can worship you, so that I can do pleasing things as you like them. So I'm intending. And it's not just intending the numbers that come. Unfortunately, in, in today's world, it's how many times you've done khatam. It's the number of times. But really, this book is for understanding. Allah, Allah revealed His words are for us to understand. It is for us. Every book, every Holy Quran, you, the, the Sabiqeen, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq, when he used to say, he say, when he used to speak about the Quranic verses, he says, I heard my Lord. He would talk because they're seeing that this words, these words are for me. What Allah is 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 مخاطبون, Allah is directly addressing me with this Quran. So they're trying to understand what does Allah want from me. That's the reality. So we may Allah, may we, may Allah subhanahu wa taala grant us tadabbur and grant us understanding of His holy book. And grant us application of his holy book as well. So that inshallah we are pleasing. Ya Rabbi, we are weak ones. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq. Wa min Allahi tawfiq al-Fatiha.